Today we're going to show you how to change the soap dispenser latch kit on your dishwasher. It's a really easy job. All you need is a number 15 Torx bit, a flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now our first step will be to open the dishwasher door, lay it down flat. We can remove the cutlery basket just to get that out of the way. Now our next step will be to open the cover to the soap box. And then with our pliers, we'll grasp that latch on both sides and just kind of give that a little twist and pop it out. And we'll set that aside. Next, we're going to remove the number 15 Torx screws around the perimeter of the inner door panel. And while supporting the door, we'll just lift up on that inner door panel. Bring it out of the tub on the bottom. Tilt it out far enough that we can hook the top of it under the latch. And that'll support itself. Next, we'll take off the protective cover. It's just held in place with a couple of plastic pins that pop into a couple of holes there on the inner door panel. So we'll slide that off, set that aside. Now the back part of that latch assembly is located right here. So we need to remove or set this aside enough so that we can pull the old one out and pop the new one in. So with a flat blade screwdriver, we'll just go into this bottom slot here, tilt that out, release it. and remove the old assembly. Now there are two ways to put this in and you'll notice a little tab on the top. That's the position it should be in. It should be facing upwards. So we'll slide our new one into place. There's a rounded portion on that panel that that will sit over. Again, make sure that we have it lined up properly. And then with our flat blade, we'll re-engage that hook. And we're ready to put the internal part in. And it has a little tab that will face upwards as well. So we can push that through from the inside of the inner door panel. And with it lined up straight, just push that piece into position till it locks in. Now how this mechanism works is that there is a set of cams that come down from the timer which is underneath of this cover, and you'll see two little nylon bars that come down through there. They engage this mechanism, which will push it down, activate that lever that opens the soap box lid. Now, when putting this back together, what we need to do is rotate that timer dial past the dry cycle until those arms are fully retracted as far as they'll go into that timer mechanism. They actually protrude about a quarter of an inch past the end of that bracket. But you can rotate the timer dial all the way around until you find the spot where they're retracted the most. Now what we'll do next is we'll put our cover over this, but we need to engage this portion with those two arms. So let's put our cover on. And what we'll do is we'll lift the back of the inner door panel up and we'll engage the top of it first. So sit it down into its opening and then lower it into place. Now we can check the operation of that mechanism before we put it all back together. 
just take one screw and put it in the bottom hole on this side. And then holding the inner door panel to the outer door panel, stand it up. And then we'll rotate that dial just past the normal wash position. And the soap box should open. And it does. So we know everything works there. We're ready to put the rest of the screws in. We'll reinstall the cutlery basket. And our repair is complete.